Uh, one of the members of Independent Stage says the way that you do it is improve the uh, testing and tracing system. Uh, they, he's described it this morning on our programme as failing. It certainly isn't uh, fit for purpose at this stage. We spoke last week and you said you're investing hundreds of millions of pounds more in order to improve it. Still, uh, we saw a story just uh, in, on Twitter yesterday, 250 mile round trip to Leicester uh, is the closest place for a gentleman who needs a COVID test because he lives with his elderly parents and many other people just cut one of my producers this morning checked on the website. He can't actually get a test because it says the service is currently very busy. It's failing. You have to accept that at this stage, the test and trace is failing. And as far as testing for COVID is concerned, um, what do young people do if they need to have that test, if they want to be responsible, as you say? I, I completely reject that, um, the, the fact that it's uh, a, that uh, accusation. In fact, quite the contrary. And if, you just, uh, if I just set out why, firstly, we have the biggest testing system per head of population of all the major countries in Europe and we've built it essentially from scratch. Right now we have the highest capacity for testing that we've ever had. It's increased compared to last week um, and that testing means that we can find these cases and therefore um, help to keep the virus under control with the contact tracing system as well. However, in the last couple of weeks we have seen an increase in demand, including an increase in demand from people who are not eligible for tests, people who don't have symptoms. You are eligible for a test if you have symptoms of coronavirus or if you have a very specific reason otherwise. And I've been looking into this, including since we talked about it last week, and we have seen an increase and about 25% of people who are coming forward don't have symptoms and don't ha aren't eligible, don't have a reason for it. So we are having to, you know, at the moment the system is really very straightforward because we want it to be easy for people with symptoms to get a test. Um, but the message is also clear that if you're not eligible for a test, if you don't have symptoms or you haven't been asked to get a test specifically by a clinician or by a local authority, uh, then you shouldn't be coming forward uh, to get a test because it makes it harder for people who really need them uh, to get those tests. Plenty of people are asymptomatic. How do they know if they've got COVID if they're asymptomatic unless they have a test? 